Our Father. Our Father. Who art in heaven. Who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. On earth. On earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this night. Give us this night. Our daily rest. Our daily rest. And we'll forgive us our trespasses. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those. As we forgive those. Who trespass against us. Who trespass against us. And lead us not. And lead us not, dear Lord. Into temptation. Into temptation. But deliver us. But deliver us. From the evil one. For the evil one who died is the king of the power forever and ever. Good night, God. Good night, God. A healing prayer for our sick loved ones. Almighty Lord, I come before your throne tonight on behalf of all my sick loved ones. Father, they are weak and their body is in pain and distress, Lord. I pray that you have mercy on them and heal them from this disease. You are Lord. You are the all-powerful one, the almighty one. There is nothing beyond you. So I humbly come before you and ask that you touch them with your healing grace and Lord, restore them to help. Remind them of your love for them and help them to trust in you for their recovery. Show them your healing power, Lord, and make them whole again. I ask this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Jesus is calling tonight. Jesus is calling, May 6th. Do not search for security in the world you inhabit. You tend to make mental checklists of things you need to do in order to, to get, gain control of your life. If only you could check everything off your list, you would relax and be at peace. But the more you work to accomplish that goal, the more things crop up on your list. The harder you try, the more frustrated you become. There is a better way to find security in this life. Instead of scru scrutinizing your checklist, focus, and which is true, on my presence with you. This continual contact with me will keep you in my peace. Moreover, I will help you sort out what is important and what is not. What needs to be done now and what does not? Fix your eyes, not on what is seen, your circumstances, but what, but on what is unseen, my presence. Isaiah 26, 3, 2 Corinthians 4, 18. Praise be to God. Psalms expressing a variety of sentiments. The next 16 Psalms contain a variety of sentiments from the heart of a believer to his God. In this grouping is an indication of the complexity of human, of human nature and the acknowledgement of a God who answers every need. Trying to fix my camera. Okay. Mercy demands obedience. That's Psalm 4. A Psalm of David. Answer me when I, call, when I call to you, my righteous God. Give me relief from my distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you people turn my glory into shame? How long will you love delusions and make seek false, false gods. Know that the Lord has set apart his faithful servant for himself. The Lord hears when I call on him. Tremble and do not sin. When you are on your bed, search your hearts and be silent. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and trust in the Lord. Many Lord are asking, who will bring us prosperity? Let the light of your face shine on us. Fill our hearts with joy. 
when their game and new wine abound, in peace I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Misuse, uh, misuse of gift of speech. Help, Lord, no one is faithful anymore. Those who are loyal have vanished from the human race. Everyone lies to their neighbor, be fled with their lips, but harbor deception in their hearts. May the Lord silence all flattering lips and every forceful tongue. Those who say, by our tongues we will prevail, our own lips will defend us. Who is Lord over us? Because the poor are plundered and the needy groan, I will now arise, says the Lord. I will protect them from those who malign them. And the words of the Lord are flawless. Like silver purified in a crucible, like gold refined seven times. You, Lord, will keep the needy safe and will protect us forever from the wicked who really stir about when what is vile is honored by the human race. Psalm 20, pray for others' welfare and expression of trust, a Psalm of David. May the Lord answer you when you are in distress. May the name of God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and grant you support from Zion. May he remember all your sacrifices and accept your burnt offerings. May he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. May we shout for joy over our victory and lift up our banners in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your requests. Now this I know. The Lord gives victory to his anointed. He answers him from his heavenly sanctuary. With the victorious power of his right hand. Some trust in chariots. Some trust in horses. But we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They are brought to their knees and fall. But we rise up and stand firm. Lord, give victory to the kings. Answer us when we call. Especially our trust in God and his instruction. In you, Lord my God, I put my trust. I trust in you. I do not let me be put to shame. Not Nor let my enemies triumph over me. The one who hopes in you will ever be put to shame. But shame will come on those who are treacherous without cause. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. Remember, Lord, your great mercy and love, for they are from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth and my rebellious ways. According to your love, remember me. For you, Lord, are good. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs sinners in his ways. He guides the humble in what is right. He and he gives them his way. All the ways of the Lord are loving and faithful toward those who keep the demands of his covenant for the sake of the name, Lord. Forgive my iniquity, who it is great. Who then are those who fear the Lord? He will instruct them in the ways they should choose. They will spend their days in prosperity. And your descendants will inherit the land. The Lord confides in those who fear him, and he makes his covenant known to them. My eyes are ever on the Lord, 
for only he will release my feet from the snare. Turn to me and be more gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. Relieve the troubles of my heart and free me from my anguish. Look at my affliction and my distress and take away all my sins. See how numerous all my enemies and how fiercely they hate me. Guard my life and rescue me. Do not let me be put to shame, for I take refuge in you. May integrity and uprightness protect me, because my hope, Lord, is in you. Deliver Israel, O God, from all their troubles. Blessedness of confession and forgiveness of sin of David. Blessed is the one whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed is the one whose sin the Lord does not count against them and in whose spirit is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones wasted away. Though through my groaning all day long, for day and night, our hand was heavy on me. Your hand was heavy on me. My strength was zapped as in the heat of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore, let all the faithful pray to you while you may be found. Surely the rising of the mighty waters will not reach them. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with the song of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. Don't be like the horse or the mule, which have no understanding, but must be controlled by bit and brittle, or they will not come to you. Many are the woes of the wicked, but the Lord's unfailing love surrounds the one who trusts in him. Rejoice in the Lord and be glad. You righteous sing, all you who are upright in heart. Agonizing Confession of Sin Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your wrath. Your arrows have pierced me and your hair has come down on me because your wrath there is no health in my body. There is no soundness in my bones because of my sin. My guilt has overwhelmed me like a burden too heavy to bear. My wounds fester and are loathsome. Because of my sinful folly, I am bowed down and brought very low. All day long, I go about mourning, my back filled with searing pain. There is no health in my body. I am evil, an early crushed. I grow in English apart. All my longings lie open before you, O Lord. My sighing is not hidden from you. My heart pounds, my strength fails me. Even the light has gone from my eyes. My friends and companions avoid me because of all my wounds. My neighbors stay far away. Those who want to kill me set their traps. Those who would harm me talk of my ruin. All day long they scheme and lie. I am like the deaf who cannot hear. Like the mute that cannot speak, who cannot speak. I have become like the one who does not hear, whose mouth can offer no reply. Lord, I wait for you. You lean to go, my God. For I said, do not let them gloat or exalt themselves over me when my feet slip. 
what I am about to feel and my pain is all with me. I confess my iniquity. I am troubled by my sin. Many have become my enemies without cause. Those who, have, who hate me without reason are numerous. Those who would pay my good with evil, why jack is nations against me? So I seek only to do what is good. Lord, do not forsake me. Do not be far from me, my God. Come quickly to help me, my Lord and my Savior. Heavenly Father, Lord, confess the name of Jesus. The devil is no more power than me. Not believe any of his lies. Always remember the devil always the power of blind signs and big wonders. He sure does. I'm telling you. I'm hoping that as we have been reading the Psalms, that one of, or even all of them, have touched your heart and left a message there from God. Words of life when we need guidance. She could hardly hear the words her professor spoke. Oh, she needed to know the material for the test. But her mind was elsewhere. Her heart was in tangles as she tossed him the pros and cons of budding relationship with the young man she met last semester. He was cute, sweet. I read that already last night. Did I? Yep. Okay. So I'll go to the next one. The decision was really no brain except life living words for when we need guidance. Wait for the Lord and be strong. Let your heart be courageous. Wait for the Lord. Psalm 27, 14. No one likes to wait. But like all of God's commands, there is one for our good. I'll wait with you until you have a better understanding of what the Lord is going to do. His plans for you are good. Wait for him to reveal them. No dead temptation has come upon you except what is common to humanity. But God is faithful. He will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But with temptation... He will also provide a, a way out so that you may be able to bear it. 1 Corinthians 10, 13. You are not a victim because of the past sin, therefore destined to failure. You are victorious over sin. Why? Because Jesus paid the price and you are very blessed because your God is with you. He will provide a way out whatever you Whenever you face temptation, look for it. Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his face always. 1 Corinthians 16, 11. Never stop seeking the Lord. Pursue him daily. Find strength in his word. Guidance through prayer and peace in his presence with you. I always let the Lord guide me because he is my right hand. I will not be shaken. Psalm 16, 8. When you trust and rely on the God to lead you, you can see him redeem even the worst of disasters. In his time, he works out everything for your good, which is true. Tonight's He Holds My Hand is this one. One way. Too, pen, too many people are trying to worship God apart from Jesus Christ. There's only one way to come to, into God's presence, and that is through Jesus Christ. Yes, you can worship without Jesus, but you're not worshiping, worshiping the God in the Bible. There's only one way for you to have relationship with me, and that is through my son, believing in his sacrifice on the cross. And his resurrection, he is the way, the truth, and the life. 
When pastures increase, the enemy tries to make you question the foundation of your faith. Suggestion that there are many ways to connect with me that are more to tolerant and inclusive. But the enemy lies. There is salvation in no one else. God has given no other name under heaven by which we must be saved. Acts 4.12 Be firm in your convictions and speak to everyone you know about this truth. Other religions urge you to believe in some other person, in another philosophy, or following a different path to find me. Paul said, if Christ has not been raised, then all our preaching is useless, and your faith is useless. And if Christ has not been raised, you are still guilty of your sins. 1 Corinthians 15, 14, and 17. Establish this truth in your heart. Jesus is the only way to come to my presence. He is your sure foundation. Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, the life. No one can come to the Father except from me, through me. John 14, 6. You know, that's like the hardest thing that the devil does not want you to know. Belief in the Lord Jesus Christ is not what the devil wants you to do. God sent his son to save each and every one of us. Yes, he gives us a choice. He doesn't force us like the devil forces you. Oh, yes, the devil can be powerful. But Jesus is more powerful. Once you allow him to come in your heart and you have that personal relationship, the devil doesn't like it. And he'll come after you, but he can't really do anything to you because Jesus has all power over Satan. By dying on the cross, suffering for all of us, so that we may spend eternity with him. And then his father re-erected re re him from the dead. So just think about that a little bit. I'm not, he I'm not heavy to say, well, if you don't do this, you know where you're going. You've heard the story. You make up your own mind. Hopefully, you might enjoy a personal relationship with Jesus. I can't explain 100% how wonderful it is and how it changes your life. I could give you testimony after testimony of how to my whole life that God has been with me and saving me from so much so much that people don't know. He called me to become, to come to him and be his, and accept him personally. I always loved Jesus. I can remember forever my first song, five years old. Jesus loved me, this I know. First song, a little child learned and it made a whole difference in my life in my whole life I've known that Jesus loves me so was I out there was was there things that at times I wasn't believing yes did I do things that I'm not proud of a lot of them but the best thing it's about 33 years ago, I went to visit this church, sat down, something about it. I felt like I was home. There was something about it. And that was in like August, September, 
October. September, Bobby came to know the Lord, Jesus. He got his personal relationship with him before I did. Through prayer and everything else. In October, I had my experience of becoming a born-again Christian. And it was long before, after, I really understood what a born-again Christian was. All I know that I was really, really close to God. But I didn't understand what born again meant. But as the years went by and the different things and the walks and talks I had with God, I found out and understood you're not born of the flesh. You're born of the spirit. The spirit within your heart is Jesus. Change your life. It's amazing the different things. Are you going to have it easy all the time? No. I've disappointed him. But I always come back. Ask forgiveness. And I get forgiven. And I know where my reward is going to be. Kind of thinking, as I say again, Jesus is knocking at the door of your heart. Let him in. You won't be sorry. May God bless you and keep you, and may his light shine upon you. This is me. Amen and good night. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, to take care of yourselves. Good night and amen.